Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to my review of the Gamo P25 pellet pistol. That's this pellet pistol right here. Now Gamo is actually a Spanish air gun company, but this is made in Japan for Gamo. All right, and by the way, what's up? This is We All Juggle Knives channel. All right, let's go over the features of this pellet pistol. First of all, it is chambered for .177 caliber. That is the safety. That is in the safe position. And that is the ready to fire position. This is the magazine release. You press that, magazine comes out. You have a double-ended magazine. You have eight shots in each end of the magazine. Load it like so. Here's a look at the rear sight and the front sight there. Now as for these features right here, you see that? And you see those there? I believe Gamo sells some accessory rails that can fit into those. This is a CO2 powered air pistol. To install the CO2, pull that off. And right, now unscrew that and the CO2 will go in there. So it goes in here. You screw it in. Now, when you start to feel resistance, you know, get ready to puncture the CO2. All right, so that's now punctured. The magazine has a little diagram show you how to load the pellets, right? So, This is now ready to fire. Today we are going to be shooting these daisy flat pellets because we're going to shoot some cans and they're better at knocking the cans over. All right, we got a vegetable can over there. You see that? I want you to be able to see this too. Okay, so let's uh, take this out. All right, there you go. All right, I set up our can one more time. See that? Let's take it out. Okay, YouTube, I've got a tin of Spam here. This is going to represent a small animal such as a rabbit. We're going to shoot it with this. Now, I have loaded some more pointed pellets into it, which I will show you. All right? So, I've already fired 16 shots from this. All right? So, that's how much the CO2 is used up. Did it get it? You see here. Okay, I removed the label so you can actually see better where it hit. So it hit right there. And it, it did not pass through though. It went through to right there. And you see it, the pellet is kind of poking out that way. It shot into there, went through to there, and then it stopped. So, you know, you can kind of judge for yourself if you would rely on this for hunting. Me, personally, I would like something more powerful for hunting. I prefer overkill for ethical hunting. But that's the spam test. Interpret it as you will. Now, for the spam test, we did use Hypermax RWS pointed pellets. All right, now, Gamma says to use only flat or domed pellets. All right, let's clear this up. These definitely work in the pistol. What you should not do is use pellets that are longer than the chambers in the uh, magazine, okay? These are not longer than that, so they feed fine. Some pointed pellets might be too long. Now, as far as how many shots you're going to get for one CO2, you're going to get roughly three magazines, right? So that would be 48 shots, roughly. 
and after that you could still get more shots in but the trajectory is going to be going down quickly. Now as I said this is blowback action so the slide actually moves back when it fires. I want to show that to you. I'm going to show you a close-up, right? I don't know how well you'll be able to see it because it happens quickly. But here's a close-up of that blowback action. Watch closely. See that? Final thoughts on this Gamo pellet pistol. There's definitely some things I like. This has a rifled steel barrel. It's going to be more accurate than a smoothbore BB pistol, that's for sure. Manufactured in Japan, I'm fine with that. They actually make very high quality air guns over in Japan. As for that blowback, it's a mixed feature, okay? It does take extra CO2 to power that blowback, right? However, it does have, it does give this a bit of recoil, which is more realistic, especially if you're using this to train younger people. Maybe you're training them to get them ready for real firearms. So, you know, that added realism is a benefit. Overall, I would recommend this for target shooting and for just good, clean, fun outdoor recreation. If you're looking for the least expensive case that can fit this along with pellets and CO2, it's this case. All right, it's got these closures here. I'll include a link to that. Again, the least expensive, it's convenient. Okay, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Underneath the video, I will include links for your convenience. This was about $90 when I purchased it. Check the link for current pricing. All right. What's up, my people? This has been We All Juggle Knives and Air Guns. I'm out.